Okay, so um, no one wants to say it. Nobody wants to say it. That's cool. I'll say it. I don't mind being the bad guy. I was the bad guy. When Kyle Pitts was drafted, I'll be the bad guy again. I do not care. Arthur Smith, head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, is full of cap. C-A-P, cap. It's all cap. It's cap. He lied. That man looked Peter King in the face with a straight face and said, the Atlanta Falcons hired the wrong guys to rebuild. Fontenot and I are not built like that. We here to win now. Win now. If that's the case, start warming up the seat. Start warming up the seat. What did Falcons fans say all offseason? Matt Ryan, psh, you get him an offensive mind head coach. Boy, you better watch out. It's going to be like 2016. Get him an offensive mind head coach. I agreed. The Falcons needed an offensive-minded head coach. They did. They absolutely did. Um, some guys, some coaches just make really good coordinators. In fact, they might make great coordinators. Head coach, though? Eh. They might just be better as a coordinator. Arthur Smith had guys running laps in training camp for false starts, offsides, illegal formation, whatever. He was all about being serious. You know, he failed recess as a kid because he don't play. The Falcons are going to be disciplined. He don't play that stuff. The Falcons just scored three points in eight quarters. Three points in eight quarters against teams who are not going to make the Super Bowl. Y'all, the wins this season have come against the Giants, Dolphins, Jets, and the Saints. And I'm about to dismantle every excuse y'all are going to put in these comments. I have seen bad Falcons teams, look at 2019, I have seen bad Falcons teams beat good Saints teams, and I've seen bad Saints teams beat good Falcons teams. Whenever the Falcons and Saints get together, I don't care what the record is of that team, of either team, it's a rivalry game. Those two teams hate each other. One team could be winless and the other team could be undefeated and the winless team could win the game because that is how that rivalry is built. So the Falcons beat the Saints. I'm happy about that as a Falcons fan. Great job, Atlanta. You went to New Orleans and you beat the Saints and you shut them up in the same week the Braves won the World Series. Go Braves, by the way. But here we are, two games after that win in New Orleans, the Falcons have scored one field goal. By the way, it was in the first quarter. That field goal came in the first quarter of the game in, in Dallas, and since then, Atlanta's been blanked. And Atlanta's chance to get some points against New England, illegal formation on a field goal. I thought this team was disciplined. We're, we're 10 games in. No, no, no discipline. No, none of that. None of that. But the, the problem I really have is that why didn't Arthur Smith just say, you know, I'm here to build a culture. I'm here to win championships. And it's going to take some time to build that. We have guys on this team that are ready to compete. We're not scared of anybody. We're going to go out every single Sunday and we're going to give it our best shot because I don't coach fear. But in order to build the, the culture that I want and the legacy I want, I need some time. I would have totally accepted that. That's honesty. That's saying we ain't got it right now. We're not there right now. But they so stuck on this not rebuilding thing and winning now that here you are as an offensive-minded head coach scoring three points in two games and you said you was going to win now. Warm the seat up then. And before y'all, the offensive line was bad. The offensive line is atrocious. Yes, it is. You dang right it is. Calvin Ridley not playing. Cordell Patterson didn't play. Oh, they didn't have nobody on offense. That's true. Cordell Patterson is a great player. He's my favorite Falcon. Calvin Ridley, very talented wide receiver. Arguable if he's a wide receiver one or not, but very good wide receiver. Let me tell you something. Do you remember the 2013 Atlanta Falcons? Let me ask you. 
Do you remember the 2013 Atlanta Falcons? They gave up the third most sacks in the NFL that year. Matt Ryan was sacked 44 times. Third most in the NFL. Atrocious offensive line, right? They had who at receiver? Well, not Julio. Julio was put on IR after week, what, three? Roddy White, all pro. Tony Gonzalez at tight end, right? Yeah. Michael Turner. Well, he had kind of fallen off after the 2012 season. Well, guess what? Julio was out. Roddy couldn't play. Michael Turner couldn't play. Do you know the Falcons went out there with that trash offensive line, Matt Ryan and Tony Gonzalez, and won a game? In fact, at the time, it was Matt Ryan's best quarterback rating of his career. It was his best quarterback rating of his career at the time. Best. And who did the Falcons have against the Patriots? Bad offensive line, Matt Ryan, and a really good tight end, Kyle Pitts. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. I will pull it up right now because I was just looking at it. The Falcons in 2013 had Matt Ryan at quarterback. You know who the receivers were that day? I, I mentioned Tony Gonzalez. The other three, Harry Douglas, Drew Davis, Darius Johnson. The running back that day, Jaquiz Rogers. The other running back, Jason Snelling. Y'all, come on. But they didn't have the talent. They don't, they didn't have, they, they, think of the worst Falcons teams in history. Think of the worst Falcons teams in history. Think of the mid 90s Falcons. Think of the 2003 Falcons when Vic had a broken leg. Think of the 07 Falcons when, when Vic was in prison. Think of the 2014 Falcons that just couldn't get nothing right. Think of last year's Falcons. Kept blowing leads. Not once did any of those teams get shut out at home. The Atlanta Falcons were shut out at home. First time since 1988 with the offensive-minded head coach that we as fans were begging for. So is it possible that this head coach is a little bit in over his head? Is it possible that this head coach is just a good coordinator? Oh, he's just a rookie head coach, Deke. It's his first year as a head coach, Deke. Think of the first-year head coaches just in this century. Jim Mora had an 11-5 season, won the NFC South, went to the NFC Championship in his first year. Mike Smith, 11-5. Almost won the South. Took the Falcons, who were considered at that point snake-bitten, dead in the water, to never rise again. Playoff appearance. Dan Quinn started 5-0, finished the year 8-8. Eight and eight, Went to the Super Bowl the next year. None of those coaches, as bad as their tenures got, were never shut out at home. You cannot be a Falcons fan and tell me you were not embarrassed by what happened really just in the fourth quarter against the Patriots. How all three quarterbacks get intercepted? Come on, bro. Seriously, think about this right now. Is it possible that Arthur Smith is just a little bit in over his head? So all the excuses of, well, first-year head coach, they don't have the talent, the offensive line is bad, okay, Whatever, bro. No, no, it's never been this bad. It's never been this bad. It has not. It's never been this bad. The Falcons have scored at least three points at home in a game since 1988. Let's be real. Why are you saying the Falcons should blow it up? You, Ten games into the, the first year of the Arthur Smith era, you're talking about the Falcons should blow it up? The Falcons should have blown it up the moment they fired Dan Quinn and Thomas Dimitrov. That's when you blow it up because you just fired your head coach and GM. That's when you say we are blowing it up. But you know what? I'm just hating. I'm just hating, right? Because watch the Falcons get a couple wins together. You're going to be, you going to be, made, gee, you, you going to be taking this all back. I said the Falcons need to be rebuilding. The Falcons were not a tight end away from the Super Bowl. The Falcons were, were so far away 
from being contenders that taking a tight end at four really didn't make sense. It just didn't. Wouldn't you guys have rather the Falcons trade back and just collect a load of picks and then select defensive guys? I mean, you know, you got to try something. But hey, best tight end prospect in years. Yeah. So, first thing I need you to do, first thing I need you to do, everybody who's a real Falcons fan and was so mad at Mike Smith, I need you to do your research, do your homework, find his phone number, call him up, apologize. <laughs> apologize. For real. Think about what that man did in his first year. That roster in 07 and 08 didn't have that many differences. The rosters in 07 and 08 did not have as much turnover as you might think it did. That offensive line was about the same. Yes, Matt Ryan was there, new quarterback. Roddy White still at receiver. Fennerin still at receiver. Defense had some guys on the secondary that, I mean, they weren't really pro bowlers. 11 and 5. That's coaching. That's coaching. That's culture. That's what that is. First thing I need y'all to do, apologize to Mike Smith. It's the first thing. Second thing, take your best heating source, put it under Arthur Smith's seat. He want to talk about winning now? Start warming it up. 